back to Kristen again. Next, we're doing wobble cushion exercises. So these are great for any sort of mobility issues, low back, upper back. Um, these are something that I do first thing in the morning. We've even had patients share with me that they do it in the shower. So all you're gonna do, um, the wobble cushion itself will give you some extra um, mobility through the hips and the low back. So you may want to purchase those. They're also great if you're seated at a desk all day long like many of our patients are. For the wobble cushion exercises themselves, what you're gonna start with is side to side bending. I like having my arms out because now I can feel a good stretch with my elbow up. Same thing here. And hold it as much as you want. As you get good mobility, you might wanna actually start doing them a little bit faster. On the cushion, you're gonna feel some good rocking of the hips. But if you don't have a cushion, you can do these just straight in the chair and you'll still get some good mobility. After side to side, what you're gonna do next is do rotation. You wanna make sure you're doing equal rotation. So if you have one side that's really tight, don't just extend more to the opposite side, but try to get them equal. And each day, try to keep gaining more and more rotation with that. And then the last one is forward and back bending. With this one, I do see a lot of people just bend forward and back like this and it's not moving every single vertebrae of your spine. So I like to think like somebody socked me in the stomach. Ugh. <laughs> and then we're moving back to get good movement. This is great after I've been adjusting all day too. So I do these, recommend them to all the patients as well. Enjoy.